Facebook Pixel Retargeting Campaign. Facebook enables you to put their tracking pixel on your website. It will then track where people go on your site. If people end up at your shopping cart, for example, you can then run an ad reminding people about your site or reminding people about the products that they almost bought. They see these ads on Facebook. Whatever the case may be, Facebook Pixel Retargeting gives you another bite at the apple. One of the biggest problems with e-commerce is that prospective buyers abandon their shopping carts. A large chunk of these buyers simply decide at the last minute or at some point in the buying process to dump their shopping cart. They don't follow through. This is where the retargeting campaign begins. It's basically a way of reminding people who have already expressed an interest in whatever it is you're offering to come back. If anything, you recycle traffic that you have gotten from Facebook. Another benefit of this technology is that it pulls traffic from Facebook that you did not get from it originally. For example, if you did an independent marketing campaign completely free of Facebook, but you put a Facebook retargeting pixel on your page, when people from that independent campaign, maybe it's a forum promotion or search engine optimization or another social media platform or whatever source, go back to Facebook to check their accounts, your ad will show up. Sounds awesome, right? These are all possible through a Facebook Pixel retargeting campaign. There are two steps to it, and it's pretty straightforward. Install Facebook Pixel on your website. The first thing that you need to do is to install the Facebook tracking pixel on your site. To do this, you just go to Facebook's business section and look for their pixels instructions. It's pretty straightforward. Even if you're using WordPress as your content management system, installing Facebook Pixel is a breeze. Next, you need to make sure that you drive traffic to your site. This means that you have to let traffic flow to your site for quite some time before you launch a retargeting campaign. It's not a good idea to launch a campaign as quickly as possible. You have to have enough targeting pixels installed in people's browsers for this to make sense. Otherwise, there are just not enough people to work with. Now, keep in mind that if you are in a niche that has generally low traffic levels, then you would have to conduct your campaign even though the overall traffic flow to your website is fairly low. Run ads on Facebook for retargeting. The ads that you're going to run for Facebook pixel retargeting are going to be a bit different from the normal boosted posts or picture links that you run on Facebook. Instead, these are going to try to achieve two things. You can remind people about what they did. Maybe they wanted to buy something, but they changed their mind at the last minute. Perhaps they were reading some sort of conversion article and were about to enter their email address, but they didn't. Whatever the case may be, you're reminding them to come back to what they were doing before. The other thing that you can do with your Facebook pixel retargeting campaign is to pull people deeper into your website. Usually, a website is composed of two parts. The first layer is the content layer, meaning you're trying to get people to know about the problem, like your particular solution, and eventually trust the solution enough so they can buy. The other part, of course, is pretty straightforward. It's all about buying. But there's a complication. A lot of people would go through the content layers, but they never make it through to the actual buying part. They never make it to your conversion page. This is where retargeting ads that pull people deeper into your website makes a lot of sense. For whatever reason, somebody reading an article on your site decides to close the window and get out of your site. You can run ads that tell them about content, but another piece of content that is related to what they were reading before. This pushes them further down the conversion funnel. Alternatively, you can run an ad that promotes your conversion page. Basically, what you're saying to the prospect is you figured out what my website is about and you have a clear understanding of what I have to offer. Maximizing your results from Facebook Pixel Retargeting. I suggest that if you want to maximize the results you get from retargeting, promote your squeeze page. That's right. Promote the page that recruits people to your mailing list. Usually there's some sort of freebie. There's usually some sort of book or booklet that you're giving away so people can enter their email address. Whatever the case may be, push the squeeze page. Don't dump them to your sales page unless, as I have mentioned above, they actually reached your shopping cart or conversion page and changed their minds at the last minute. That's pretty much the only situation where you should retarget showing an ad that goes directly to the conversion page. Other than that, convert them to sign up for your mailing list. It's your mailing list with its many chances at gaining attention, building trust, and gaining credibility, which will actually do the heavy lifting as far as converting that prospect into an actual sale. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz content produced and distributed by all superinfo